सो अवर सिग्नल इज गिवन बाय ए नॉट इंटीग्रल सॉरी इंटीग्रल माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी इज नथिंग इंटीग्रल लेट मी राइट इट अगेन ए नॉट इंटीग्रल माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी पी ऑफ टी माइनस टो एच टो डी टो ओके दिस इज अवर सिग्नल सो हाउ टू फाइंड सिग्नल पावर सो टू फाइंड सिग्नल पावर वी विल फाइंड एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ द स्क्वेर ऑफ द सिग्नल इट इज नथिंग बट पावर ऑब्वियसली एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू मीन्स एवरेज वैल्यू सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ द स्क्वेर ऑफ दिस सिग्नल कंपोनेंट एंड हियर ए नॉट is constant it is a symbol and here e of expected value of this we are just separating okay so we have to calculate this so how to proceed so what we will do this is nothing but power of symbol data symbol let is let say it is denoted by pd okay and the remaining thing is this now we know that pt of tau this is a very important point let me write with another color we know that we have just replaced this by this now pt minus tau and h tau okay are fixed and this are deterministic signals meaning deterministic means they can be represented mathematically okay so h to is also a deterministic signal and p t minus to is also deterministic signal so expected value of this is nothing but integral minus infinity to infinity in short this e will be disappeared okay so we can write simply pd multiplied by this because this to our deterministic signal so expected value of this signal is nothing but the signal itself so at the end we are left with this now this is signal power now our next aim is to calculate noise power so next aim is to calculate noise power first step is over now let's come to our second step we know the noise signal is given by this is noise signal this is not noise power this is noise signal let's denote it by n tilde t this is just a notation so how to find noise power similar to signal power what we will do to find noise power just we will calculate the expected value okay noise power is nothing but expected value of integral minus infinity to infinity or we can say expected value of n tilde t square so you can write like this also n square okay again let us assume the very important point let us assume noise is a w g n meaning nature of noise is additive it is white white means uh the power spectral density is constant it's uniform for throughout all the frequencies and gaussian's mean it is a process which is very similar to the process occurring in nature so that's why we called it additive white gaussian noise so as per the gaussian characteristics we know that expected value of nt equals to 0 and expected value of nt n of t plus to this is and you know that this is nothing but expected value of nt and nt plus to is nothing but autocorrelation function and it is given by 
n naught by two del tau, where n naught is nothing but the sparse spectral density. Okay, so this is the autocorrelation function. Let me write. This is called autocorrelation. Okay, so let's take one look back again to that uh, block diagram that this is the noise which gets added okay and this is the gaussian random process this is the impulse response and over here we are having this filter or uh, sorry sampler and n tilde t is integral minus infinity to infinity n of t minus tau h tau d tau okay so this is also a gaussian random process since filter is lti obviously we are dealing with lti systems only linear time invariant systems so therefore this sample is gaussian random variable this sample means over here we are getting this is a sampler so after sampling this whatever we get is also a gaussian random variable since it is a sample of Gaussian random process. This is Gaussian random process. Occurring in nature. So this is Gaussian random process. Passing through LTI system will also lead to a Gaussian random process and sampling it at interval t will give one sample and this sample is also a Gaussian random variable since this is a guess, Gaussian random process. So let's go back to our original noise expected value of noise power. So expected value of eta n tilde square. Okay. Is nothing but expected value of integral minus infinity to infinity n of t minus tau h tau d tau into this is the multiplication right integral minus infinity to infinity n of t minus tau dash h tau dash and d tau h tau dash and d tau dash okay here just we are changing the variable okay just we have changed the variable nothing much has changed so the square is written in form of multiplication but over here the variable is tau but over here the variable is tau dash or we can say tau tilde anything okay so now what we can do, we can put these two integrals together. Let me take a new page. So what we are doing now is that we are putting these two integrals together. So let me write over here that is expected value of integral of integral of just I am putting these two integrals together and writing the rest things as it is. So writing the rest things as it is. D to and D to dash. Okay. Just we have done. We have put it this integrals together. Okay. Let me zoom out. Okay, so we have done this. Now, what is the next step? Since expectation operator, that is expected value is a linear operator. So what we will do? We will take it inside. Okay, so we can take inside because expectation is a linear operate, operator. So 
we can write like this expected value of t dash and this impulse response is as it is okay so now what we can write 